Hello, my name is Melissa Carter, and I'm the blogger at You Only Have Your Shelf to Blame about the books that are authentically on my shelf, whether it's physically or digitally, because this book is digitally on my shelf. And it is one. I read this years ago, and it made me cry, and it made me grateful, um, because without the person who this book is about, I would not be alive, nor would my son be alive. And that's a true story about somebody I've never met and never will because she's no longer with us. But it is also a book that should be required reading for every single student in school because this woman's name should be synonymous with saving lives. And who am I talking about? And what's well, digital? So it's The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. I'll have to put up an image of the of the book, and we have a link below, uh, as I do in all my videos of the books that I talk about. Do you know who Henrietta Lacks is? Now, for some of you who uh, have said, well, I saw the movie because Oprah was a big part of the, the movie. The movie's great, and Oprah, I mean, this. I'm sure she had this on her, her book club, and she is a big advocate for people knowing who Henrietta Lacks is as well. But the movie is wonderful, but again, like most movies, it doesn't live up to the book. You really have to read the book. Now, it's nonfiction, nonfiction. So who's Henrietta Lacks? Well, she is someone who lived in the 40s and 50s, and she is an African-American woman who developed cervical cancer. And when she was treated for cervical cancer, which in the book, which is not described in the movie, but in the book, the horrific way in which they treated cervical cancer back in the 1950s, um, she, they found that it, within her, her cells were immortal. Now, what does that mean? It means that her cells would continue to replicate and replicate outside of her body. And because she was African-American, that was taken advantage of because it was called the HeLa cell line, HeLa for Henrietta Lacks, H-E-L-A. So what does that mean? Well, that means when you're in a lab and you're trying to do research on things, that you need cells in order to experiment on for to see how things are affected. And they found that Henrietta Lacks cells, her HeLa cells, were plentiful meaning that they could do research on all kinds of things because they had cells that would continue to replicate and replicate and replicate outside the body, an immortal cell. And so they did all kinds of research. Now, the problem with this, and I'll tell you this uh, as the author who uh, is, did I say the author's name earlier? I for, Forgive me, Rebecca Skloot, because without Rebecca, none of this would have taken place. So Rebecca was in a science class and heard about these immortal cells and was like, but I don't know much about Henrietta Lacks. They didn't cover it in class very much. They, they mentioned it. So she went to do research on her own and found that Henrietta Lacks lived a sad existence because of the way that she was treated by the medical community. She did succumb to cervical cancer. So she passed away, again, her cells replicating and replicating and replicating. And the hospital in which she was at was selling these cells and other hospitals and, and ever, ever, researchers were taking these cells because here we are, we don't have to harvest cells. We have these immortal cells. The hospital's making money off these cells. The medical community making money off these cells. No money went to Henrietta Lacks' family. Henrietta Lacks' family could have used that money. But because they were African American, they were treated poorly. So Rebecca, Rebecca Skloot, who's the author of this and tells the story, she's the one that did the research. She's the one that interviewed the family. She's the one that figured this out. And, you know, subsequently, the family has been given, and I'm not sure as of today, I know there was still a fight over how much money they were going to get, how much compensation they were going to get. But her adult children were wanting, you know, I mean, fairly something in return for all the money that the HeLa cells have accumulated for researchers and hospitals. Now, why do I say that I would not be alive without Henrietta Lacks? That's the truth. That's the truth. I would not be alive without Henrietta Lacks and her cells because Henrietta Lacks cells were fundamental in transplant research. 
and I'm a kidney transplant recipient. So Henrietta Lacks cells led to the discoveries that allowed me to have my kidney for 19 years. My son came to us through IVF. Henrietta Lacks cells were fundamental in the research for IVF and other fertility uh, things and, and procedures and medications. And Henrietta Lacks cells are still alive today. Like I said, she got cancer like in 1951. It is, as this recording, 2021. 50 years, Henrietta Lack cells are still replicating. They're immortal cells. And any condition you may have, more than likely, Henrietta Lack cells have been fundamental in the research in the improvement of the, of the treatments for pretty much everything. As we speak, Henrietta Lack cells are in labs being worked on, living cells, <laughs> by a woman who died a very painful death in an environment in which she wasn't very respected. And so she didn't get to live to see her legacy. But that's why I say she's one of the most important figures in medical history, scientific history, African-American history, Women's history, Henrietta Lacks should be on the tip of everybody's tongue and her story should be known by everybody. So that is why I plead for you to include the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks in your library. It, it, we owe her to know her story, I think. I truly believe that. And I cried when I, because I didn't know the story. I didn't know her story before I picked up the book. The book was in, in a bookstore, and I was, it was the word immortal, the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks, and I just was curious. It was curiosity that made me pull that book off the shelf, and when I wept, and I did, I wept toward the end of the book when I, it was given the realization, and it showed all the things that her cells have helped with, and again, this book is not a recent book, so, I mean, there's probably more things that, that are not even listed in it. But I did. I was listening to the audio book, and I was doing some home improvement projects, and I remember stopping what I was doing and we weeping as I, st as I stood there because I owe her my life, and I owe her my son's life. So the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks, you've got to pick it up. And if there's a book that has made you weep, whether because of good storytelling or because it really resonated with you and it's something that you didn't realize or that, again, you have some obligation to from now on to, to understand the knowledge or share the knowledge, share it with us in the comment section. And again, the link to the book of The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. And like I said, every video has a link to those books down in below. So in the description, <laughs> I was like, in the comments, in the description, we got all kinds of things down below. So thank you so much for watching. I am Melissa Carter. I'm the blogger at You Only Have Your Shelf to Blame. And we hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.